Always have your camera bag in the boot of the car with you. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm back out on a photography location in Ireland and I've come to a place that I've passed a number of times on my way to my beloved Dingle and it's a place called Blennerville. And you can see this beautiful windmill actually that's over here. Now I've come here for sunset and I want to share with you something today which I think everybody should do is always have your camera bag in the boot of the car with you because you'll never know when opportunity would strike. So I was here today, I was down doing some work in Tralee and I finished just in time actually for, as you can see, what looks to be a nice sunset. So I said I'd come along here and come to this location and utilize the fact that I have my camera with me so I'm ready to go and record. And it's definitely something that I'm glad I have because I don't want to miss out on what hopefully, by the looks of it, could be an absolutely beautiful sunset. So I'm gonna get set up here I'm going to take a couple of shots anyway, and one of the lights is streaming through and I get the side of the mountains as well catching some of the light and I'll talk you through what I've done, what I've done when I get my first shot set up. I've taken my first couple of shots here now and I actually do like what I've managed to get so far. Now, as you can see here on the side of the screen, there's a nice bit of bright light that's coming through that's lighting up the side of the windmill as well, quite nice. Now I've taken a normal quick exposure but by also using my 0.9 ND grad just to contain the light that's there coming in from the right hand side and I've also as well thrown on my 10 stop so that will enable me as well to get a longer exposure and with the moving clouds and the way they're catching the light as well I think that is also a nice shot. Now below me here I can see that there's a bit of flatness as well in the water so hopefully as the evening goes on towards sunset I do get that flatness in the water but yeah what a good start I'll show you these shots now and we'll move on to the next. What I've decided to do now is to go handheld and actually get a couple of snapshots here because the light is changing and even as it is right now it's changing quite quickly. So we might be able to see there's some crespicular rays that are coming from that. Maybe not because it's a bit overblown but the sun is just going in behind some clouds. So we're getting some lovely clouds as well that are up in the area above the uh, windmill. 
and with that light that's coming out of those clouds it's actually absolutely beautiful now i'm going to go very quick on my shots here because i know there's a number of birds as well that are flying over the windmill so i want to try and capture them as well into the shot if possible but the main thing is the light here now that's coming through it's going to go down behind the bank of clouds this might be the best of the light but i don't know because with that gap that i see between these clouds which are here and the clouds on the far end over here I might be able to get those lit up as you can see. Right, so now by going hand hand as well, uh, it allows me to be able to change my position. I don't have to try and move around this tripod on these slippery rocks. The only thing I got to think about, obviously, is myself. But within these here, as you can see, these birds that are flying in, hopefully, I'm able to capture a shot of those. So I'm at f4 here at the moment, and I'm at uh, one eightieth of a eighty of a second. Probably going to make that faster actually. So I'm about to freeze those. So I'm probably have to bump up my ISO, but I'm going to keep my 0.9 ND on just to control uh, the sky. But these here are looking really, really nice now as well. So yeah, always beneficial to keep the camera in the boot of your car. We found holes in these walls. We like what we saw. Seems so strong until it falls. The final straw. bit of action I suppose if you want to call it that. I could hear the rotors of a helicopter in the distance coming in over the bay and as it came in came closer and closer and went right over my head directly above me. So I saw it coming in I quickly changed out to my long lens and I think I managed to get a couple of shots that was coming in and it was only when it came in I realized that it was a Coast Guard helicopter. So I hope it's only on a training mission and there's nobody in trouble uh, out here on the Dingle Peninsula. Uh, the fact that it came all the way in here, I'm not quite sure why it didn't land. It just came in and turned around and came back out again. And as it came back out, it went right above me again. So directly in the flight path. Like I said, hopefully it will be safe. It was great to be able to get that type of shot.
I think the best of the light now has come and gone because the sun has gone behind that deep bank of clouds actually out on the horizon there is no more light casting over and the clouds that were above the windmill earlier as well have now dissipated so there's nothing there for them to catch but I am glad that I managed to get here just in time to be able to capture our shots with the golden light actually flowing in so I'm going to finish up this episode of my vlog thank you very very much as always for joining me if it's the first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time keep the camera bag in the boot of your car and stalk the floor.